Good morning, everybody. We miss you so much. Um, okay, number of the day is 13. Remember, we have double or a uh, two letter er like in her. Of is our exemption word. It does not look the way it sounds. We have to think to spell it. We have th and two letter a that can end a word in day. Okay, 13 is our number numeral and the number word. Let's spell it out. Two letter er like in bird and girl and then teen. Okay, we have we have two letter er like in bird and girl because in that first clap you only hear the R but we have to have A, E, I, O, or U. Miss Sandy, back up. You're so close to me. Sorry. Thanks. I love you, You're... Mrs. Ackerman. Okay. Um, and then what is this, Miss Sandy? Double E always says E. Oh, two tickets, mm -hmm. my friend. Thank you. Okay. If we're 13th in line, our ordinal number, we're going to have to add another three. A lot of multi-letter phonograms in here. Okay, everybody, come on over. Let's write our word again. 13. Now, 10 frames. There is one ten, three ones. We know that the one is greater because it lives in the tens house, 10. This is only three. 10 is greater than three. This is 13. It has one ten and only three ones. Okay? We have two hands, two gates. So our tally marks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, third, er, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So eleven, twelve, thirteen. There it is. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, ten. We don't need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know it's one, ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Then we need, what number is right before 13, ladies and gentlemen? If you are 13, what were you last year at your birthday? Miss Sandy? 12. Thank you. Still a teen, because it's got that 10 there. Well, not really, 13 really starts it, but 11 and 12 becomes our doubles. You're more than two hands, it's a big deal. Okay, the number after is, what comes right after 13, Miss Sandy? 14. Thank you, we say the ones first, don't we? 14. There's our teenager. Okay, and then what is two more than 13? Let's see, let's count. 13, 14, 15. Two more is 15. So it is 15. Two less. Let's count backwards. We go, we were 12, and then we were 11. Yes. Okay. One ten and one one. There we go. Done, done, done. Compare numbers. Ooh. Let's do one that makes us think about our place value again. We have 81 and we have 18. Now they look, they look exactly alike to me, but if I really think about it, I've got 81 and 18. We first look in our tens. This is 10, eight tens, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 8 tens, 80. This is only 10, which is greater. 80. 80. One is greater than 18. We don't even have to look at the ones unless um, if we had 22 and 25, then we would look at the ones because there is two tens in both. But then we look at the ones, and five ones is greater than two ones, Miss Sandy. So we want to eat him, okay? Here, we want to eat him. So we are going to put the mouth towards 81. 81 is greater than 18, Miss Sandy. Okay, let's decompose 13 real quick here. Okay, goodbye, A E I O U. Okay, here we go, 13, 13, 13. Let's see if it's even or odd. You guys must know because we look in the ones and we know that it's odd because two and a one is three. 
and that's not even, right? But we can also look at it this way. We have two tables. Let's put people at the tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are seven people at this table and only six at this one. Seven and six. Let's do those equations. Let's start with the whole. The whole is equal to the parts. Seven plus six equals 13. Now let's go backwards. Let's do six, uh, sorry, 13 equals six and seven. So that equation, we're starting with the whole. Now let's start with the whole again to do our subtraction. 13 and 13, take away, take away. If we have 13 and we take away six, what is it, Miss Sandy? Seven. Okay. And if we have 13 and we take away seven, Miss Sandy, what is missing? Six. There. The kids need to be with the daddy. Okay. Let's find another way to make 13. It's 110 and it's three ones. Isn't it, Miss Sandy? Yes, it is. Okay. Then we have three plus 10 equals 13. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Let's do 13, the whole, take away 10. The missing number is three. three. And if we have 13, take away three, then we are missing the 110. Right, Miss Sandy? Yes. Okay. The reason we start with the whole, if we had five and two and three, right? A hand is a five and a two. We couldn't start with three and take away five. Now, could we? Because if we have three fingers, can we take five away? No. No. So you always have to start with the whole when you are subtracting, not when you're adding. Okay? All right. 